Let's look into the film. This is an observation look at KJ Wright. He, he talked to Mike Fisher about wanting to be on the Dallas Cowboys, although he have yet to make a decision or if the Cowboys even reached out to him as a serious look. But we can look at everything and say, yeah, he still got it. Now he's north of 30 and he's six foot four, 246 pounds. He brings in a level of understanding of the defense. I believe he brings a lot to the table in that fashion. Now, uh, granted, the position that you're looking for him to play will be, of course, either the Sam or the Will. But my thing is, with the Dallas Cowboys, they got this thing that goes on with these linebackers that's very, very weird in a sense. Nevertheless, when we look at everything, what this kid can bring to the table, I believe that he can cover. He can also hit. He can pretty much be one of those guys that can blitz off the edge and of course he's overshadowed by Bobby Wagner and, and the other guys that used to be on that particular team the Legion of Boom but time and time again you will see that this kid is solid solid just just a brain of the football especially uh, with everything that's going on with Seattle he's been that brain out there as it relates to the field of play and things like that watch how he just flattens this route here making sure that the opposition is not able to get north of there and always get there to the ball and even knock this ball out here and re receive the uh, fumble recovery there for that particular play. And he just dropped back into his zone casually, picked this ball off, and that's what he brings to the table. Wisdom, understanding of the game, the flow of the game. He's able to spy and watch the quarterback drop back, never flip around and just stay focused in on this play and just have unbelievable ball tracking ability. He will make you pay. <laughs> Quarterback thought for sure he can get this over his head, but that athleticism, shout out to Olive Branch, Mississippi. You know how that goes down there. We never leave nothing unturned. <laughs> leave no stone unturned. He was able to capture that ball, and that's just how he's able to play in this league for so long. Being around the ball, now, open field tackle, watch. Mm. Flattens this route right here, come down and make sure he feels in the middle of the field. He can cover the hook pretty well. Anything in the middle, he got that. Blitzing off the edge, he got that. Uh, I like seeing the open field tackles of linebackers, making sure that they are in this particular area of the field that you're not going to get beyond them. Yes, watch how he just seeks out this play. Third and six close in on the quarterback so quickly so quickly just exploded to get to that edge there and that is what you really want to see that cognitive ability to explode and get to the quarterback make him your baby that's cerebral there that's iq awareness and all of those good things that's good traits too close in third and six make the quarterback have to pay for that this is another thing right here Cowboy Nation identify. Watch he explode, blow this player up, and they count this as a fumble, and it was a pickup, and it was six points on the board. He read that. He sniffed it out. You got to be able to sniff these things out. When you see a play that's happening multiple times and you read the leverage of the field, come down and feel. I mean, I got to watch this again. Boy, did he put him in a basket. Let's go and watch this again. That is recognizing the understanding of the play and understanding what they're trying to do and taking it away. He's able to identify, read, react, and explode. R, R, explode. Boom. I like seeing that. I love seeing that out of these type of linebackers. Being able to see this, diagnose this, and break it down. Make the quarterback pay and also make the wide receiver pay or the running back. Whoever's in the backfield, make them pay. Make them pay. Pick it up. Understand that this is what they're trying to do in this down and out distance. And you got to have a cerebral mind and cognitive enough to know that this is what they're trying to do on the field. And he will make you pay when you're trying to throw a ball. And if it's either behind a opposition or in front of them a little he will pick it off he got a nose for the ball although throughout his career i believe he only have six interceptions but it's bad down and you can see that he's always punching and clawing out the ball those are the things that i like to see and as he get older in this particular football field 
become more and more of a, a nuance out there on the field. So as I'm looking at this, watch another pick. Got to make them pay and give. Yeah, it was not a lot of yak action after that, but at least it was a turnover ball back to the offense. You want to get that and you want to start that and you want to keep that energy going, making everything contagious as it relates to the defensive uh, mind out there. And this is another pass that was kind of off a little bit, and he will make you pay. This is against Dak Prescott in the playoff game. He's able to snatch this ball away from Noah Brown, and that's, that's an interception touchback ball back to the offense. Mm. Dak Prescott calls 85 closer to the line. Fake handoff. He didn't fight into the fake right there, and he's able to snatch that ball away from Noah Brown. Great read right here. Watch. The anticipation. Not buying too much into the run. Not biting down. He Hey, he saw this right here. He saw Dak Prescott still had the ball. He said, okay, let me pedal back. Watch this transition of flipping of the hips. And I know this was a couple years ago. But this kid still had that ability and that mindset because we saw him do this earlier. And it was 2020. I just wanted to throw this clip in there to show you his range and his ability Look, drop back. <laughs> and he was able to get that. He was able to get that INT. And did he play the hands or did he look back for the ball? Let's see. Uh, flip. He's in a chase position. Chase. Yeah, he played the hands. A little incidental contact right there, but they'll let that pass. Knock the hands away. INT. Bad pass. <laughs> ball was a little behind him. You want him to hit the ball in front of him, but that's the story of a different day, right? I know people going to look that up, but I liked seeing this because he, he did it against the other quarterbacks as well. Being able to see the field, see what's going on as it relates to that. Look, bat down here. So this kid got that type of mindset. Um, if all of the reports are within reasons, I guess, as far as the money-wise, Right, because Fish Sports said he's talked to him. Shout out to Mike Fisher. Y'all make sure y'all follow his page. He said he talked to him, had a good conversation. Uh, he said that he really wanted to be his dream to be with the Dallas Cowboys. He's familiar with Quinn. Now, my only thing is when Fish spoke to uh, this kid KJ Wright, I wish he'd have put him on hold and say, "Hey, I got Will McClay, I got Stephen Jones on the other end." continue to talk though <laughs> but nevertheless uh shout out to uh kj wright and all of his uh accolades and the things that he did with the legion of boom if he do decide to come to the dallas cowboys i believe in the hearts of hearts he will be a great influence to the guys that's already here maybe he can pour upon his knowledge to the guys that's here but outside of that he is north of 30 some of his speed is not all the way there but Sometimes that old broom can sweep those corners, right? You guys know what I'm saying, right? Maybe just maybe you can bring him in for a cup of coffee. See if he got anything left in the tank and maybe write out one of those incentive-based contracts and see if he really loved the Cowboys. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.